Amen. Oh, oh, there I go. Oh, I can do the thing like Mortessum. <laughs> uh, first of all, let me say this. I don't think y'all gave Mortessum the love he deserved, man. Like, this guy was doing the background for his own background. <laughs> and he just, look, look, he was doing it with ease. Did you see him? He was just standing there. Do this in my sleep. To bottom the bar, Man, that was so good. I wanted to know all of the I wanted to know. Oh, how did that? Y'all, y'all look good, man. Y'all dressed up like it's eight. So how about check y'all out? Man, y'all all came out. I'm in love. I saw the brothers walking. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Yeah. Let me see who's here. Let me see who's here. Is, is my African family here? Hey, man. I saw you jamming to Mortessa. I was like, yeah. And you rocking the flow. I didn't even know we did that in Australia. Wakanda family. I got you, man. Africa. Hey. What? You say Africa too? Mashallah? That's a light Africa? Mashallah? Tabakallah? We'll be doing new things today. <laughs> no, alhamdulillah. Let me see. Uh, is, it, uh, is India here? <laughs> we spread one over there, two over here. Let me make y'all feel a little bit more comfortable. Tujhe dekha hoye jana salam Pyaar hota hai divana salam Ab yaha se kaha chani hum Y'all feel good now? Acha tika tika Is Pakistan here? Whoa! How did you guys get here? Do the whites know you came? <laughs> so how long? I'm happy to see y'all. Is Asia here? Like, see, sister, is are you from the Uyghur family? North? You speak? Huh? Kuwait? Kuwait. Oh, that's how we say. We be saying it wrong. We say Uyghur. That's haram. Tell them how to say hello. Nihama, shishia. I know, I know. Shishia. Bokuchi. Josan Nihama. Acha Tika. Nah, alhamdulillah. I mix everything all of it. It's the Alex here. Hey, listen, listen, we are surrounded. Let me just try to tell you, brother. Hey, Wakanda, you watch the door. <laughs> they are here. I mean, they are all here. Lebanese, Palestinian, yeah. Syria, Iraq. Eat men, I know. Allah, I like you see them. Respect them, he eat them. When Lily be done, I know, man. We are all up in here. Is the whites here? No, all love, please. Bless our Ummah with more whites. With Shahada. Amen. Okay, man. I'm happy, man. I see. Um, I'm happy, man. This is. I feel really good to be connecting with all of my my fellow Muslims. And y'all eating like y'all just was fasting or something. This, the sun is still up. Hold on. <laughs> what is going on? Oh man! I've been. Let me tell you. It's a, I've been having a blast. This is our like my first experience traveling with chefs. <laughs> my chef, 
I've been traveling with my chef now. Listen, Sheikh Mohammed Jabril, let me tell y'all, we was on the plane, and I'm from America, right? So in America, it's all nervous. Everybody gets nervous, right? Sheikh Mohammed Jabril, he's on the plane, and he's talking, yani, yani, sharia, sharia. Sheikh Mohammed Jabril, we on the plane. We are on the plane, sharia. I forgot, sharia just means street. He might just be talking about another street, but it sounds like Shetty Eye. I'm like, we on the plane! <laughs> and I feel like I had to get more Muslim because I was sitting next to Mufti Lee. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, this is true story. Look, you know when you're a Muslim, you gotta turn your Muslim up a little bit. My Muslim is, is at a low. Allah bless me to increase my Muslim. I was sitting next to Mufti Lee. And listen, the, the store, there's a white lady, bless her heart, honey. Right? She was to move to me and she says, oh, here is some, she gave him a snack and she says, I believe these are halal. <laughs> so I was looking at this white lady. I was like, Kakana Ma'ami? <laughs> she didn't say nothing to anybody else. Do you know what she did to make it more halal? She went and got Mufti Wink apples and nuts. These are halal. <laughs> I said, man, she gave us some too, just because we was with him. Oh, how many lives? I'm, um, I've been uh, like going through some different changes. Like I've been remembering when I was growing up, right? When I was growing up, I don't know if y'all ever, have y'all heard of the hadith? They, t they used to tell me a bunch of hadith, they used to scare me. But they told me this hadith one time. They said, when I was little, if I was to get a whooping in trouble, do something bad and get in trouble, the shaitan would go in the corner and he would laugh at me. So one day, I got in trouble and it hurt. And I remembered that hadith and I looked over in the corner and I was like, shaitan! You imagine me, I'm a little boy running in the corner, shaitan! And in the middle of me swinging, I couldn't see him, but I'm swinging at shaitan. Right? And then I thought, I'm like, hmm, how on. What if he's not in this corner? <laughs> There's four corners in this room. I'm running from corner to corner trying to beat up Shaytan. How look at that. You know what they told me in another hadith, I mean the story. And I don't know if it's I don't know that it's not. But I used to get in trouble for not folding my prayer up. Because my mother would be like, Haram. Shaitan is going to pray on your rug. And I was little, then I thought for a minute. I said, don't we want him to pray? <laughs> like, I was, don't we want Shaitan to make sujood? I'd be like, oh Allah, he is praying. He's sujood. It's over. Stop his whispers. <laughs> you see, I got issues. I got... Is it just me? I know. I grew up, like, where's my Pakistanis at? Oh, listen, you guys, you messed me up. Because I grew up Blackistani. <laughs> listen, I grew up, I was the only black boy. My mother converted to Islam, I'm five years old. So we was wearing shalwar kameez. I'm the only black boy in the neighborhood running around with a shalwar kameez. It was light blue. You know how they made them. They're really thin. You can see through the shower. <laughs> so I'm running around with my shower, and my non-Muslim neighbors is looking like, oh my God, it's the black Aladdin. <laughs> Hold on, right? So I'm running around, but I, when they gave me the shower, here was the problem. Like, I couldn't fit the shower. It wasn't my size. But the guy, he tells me, he's the chef, he says, nee, nee, nee. One size fits all. <laughs> I was like, how? I opened up the package like, <laughs> and he came, he was like, you must put this. This is called your nara. You must take your nara and put it in your shalwa. So I take my nara and I'm putting it in my shalwa. Right, and then I pull my Nora, but I have too much Nora left. So I take the part of my Nora and I put it in the waist of my shower, like this, and I'm running plain, 
And then the neighbors is looking, they was like, oh my God, he has a white tail. <laughs> because my Nora had came out of the bottom of my shawa, and I didn't know, I'm just running around like, oh, Allah, Allah. Until somebody politely came and they stepped on my Nora. And I lost my shawa. <sighs> Thank Allah for my kurta. I used to like wanna, I wanted to have more, like in America, I wanted to have more mainstream Muslims. Like, I wanted to see more. So I was like, what if these celebrities, what if the celebrities could be Muslim? And since I had worked with Chris Tucker, I was like, oh man, it would be so cool if he was Muslim. In my mind, he would be like, Salaikum! <laughs> man, we gonna do this, man. We gonna do this all day long. We gonna be praying five times a day. I gotta sit I gotta sit We can do this. And then, we used to sneak because, I don't know if you guys know, when I was little, everything was haram. Are you happy? Yes, haram. <laughs> oh, you having fun? Yes, haram. <laughs> so, I used to sneak, right? And there's Michael Jackson, I would be like, oh Lord, Michael Jackson, make Michael Jackson Muslim. We can have a Muslim Michael Jackson. And in my mind, Michael Jackson was here now, he would be saying, I just feel so like a movie. I feel so happy. I feel so human up here. Because he only get loud when he sings. <laughs> but I had this in my mind, like, if we had this Muslim Michael Jackson, right? And instead of him doing this, right, <coughs> he would do something different. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Anytime I wanted to act like I speak Arabic, Sheikh, but true, listen, a true story when I told my sister we was the only Muslims in the neighborhood, I was like, they was like, y'all not no real Muslims, because they was thinking about the Muslims on TV. And so then I was like, when they come around, let's talk in Arabic. And she's like, but we don't know no Arabic. I said, I know, but we know Fatiha. <laughs> so when they came, my sister was like, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. It was like, oh my God, they are Muslims. <laughs> Habibi. Uh, oh, y'all did that too. <laughs> Look at they was like, yeah. Black man. I'm sorry, I be seeing them. It's another brother, why come? It's another one over here. We spread out. What's up, brother? What type of black are you? Huh? Somali Toso Toso is good to say. I was a king that I fell in. I get it what I get me. Yeah. It's just you by yourself, brother. Don't worry. Did, look at them, everybody else feel jealous. Hold on. Any other Somalis here? Oh, we got help. We got help. 
Okay, all right. Uh, I'm, in, uh, I'm over my time, but I'm having so much fun. So, oh. listen, are we happy to be outside since COVID? I don't know. I don't know what's been happening in this country, but I mean, hey, are y'all?